Hey, MS Screamers, welcome to my top 10 list. I do top 10s, waves, predictions, and my kill count. I haven't done my kill count because, frankly, I've been, I have low data. I've been saving up my kill counts so I could do two of them next month. But for this uh, month, for, I'm at Julie going to do, I kill, I'm going to do a top 10 list. I actually do have a list of fakes, but I'm actually going to go over audible mentions. These are anime that I actually chose for, for that, that didn't uh, go on the list because frankly, I actually, uh, I actually, uh, kind of, uh, I, uh, I actually like these anime, but I actually didn't. Um, save it a thousand gold for my retirement. It's actually a charming anime. I actually love it. It didn't go on here because, frankly, I actually... Just, uh, I actually, uh, I actually, uh, want, uh, because, uh, it's actually a very charming anime. I actually, it's underrated and never appear on any list, so, I'm just going to put it as a honorable mention. For... The other ones, Miggy and Dolly. I actually, nobody actually mentioned Miggy and Dolly. Two brothers are investigating their mother's murder and pretend to be one. Honestly, these two brothers are really, are twins. But the, the plot twist is... They're actually triplets with a, a student, E.G. Miggy and Dolly are really, really charming characters, and I actually like them. Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2 and Rise of the Shield Hero Season 3. Honestly, I actually love these I would put these on the list, but I kind of really, really, uh, hoping, uh, it got more hype. Um, the other ones that, uh, didn't, uh, got on the list is Techno Overmind and... Techno Overmind and and my my favorite of this year my favorite of this year well the great cr credit sorry sky prank here and There's actually a lot that they got on the list. But also a risk added from the world, exorcist from the world, sorta of, sorta of, from extraordinary sword master to Bride never got on the list. Skip Air Loper never got on the list because frankly I I think it's as good, but but I actually uh, think uh, these anime are better because uh, because honestly because honestly I haven't seen Attack on Titan. I did see Villa Saga. I actually.
I haven't seen the Tokyo Revenger Season 2 Part 2. So, because they haven't come on dub yet. Yeah, but, here we go. My top 10 anime of 2023. I will actually go fr from winter, summer, and and to uh, fall. Let begin. Number 10. Toma Chin is a girl. I actually got hyped for this. This romance anime follows childhood friends Tomo Aizawa and Jun Junko Chorozu. They do everything together. But as soon as Tomo starts having feelings at, at high school, but she uh, is actually a top tomboy and always act like this because she actually does karate uh, at a boy level. June always treat her like a bro and she always gets stuck in the friend zone. Honestly, this is actually a good anime because we actually find out if Tomo get out of the friend zone. Her friends, uh, Carol and Guta, are such a good uh, pair. Carol is uh, sweet as honey, but she always hides her emotions. And and uh, Guta actually never show her emotions, but but always uh, get a smile from from. Uh, from Tomo and uh, this always uh, feels like a freaking freaking uh, this actually see uh, Tomo uh, help out Karen and uh, see the boys actually help out uh, Tomo is actually amazing and June and Tomo did got together at the end and uh, a good ending too a beloved ser series. And it got one season. And you can watch it. And I watch it both in dub and subs. Sub. No joking. Am I going to wait until it gets dubs? No. Fuck no. I will watch it in sub first. I will watch it in sub and dub. But good thing it got both sub and dub, so I actually watch it both. Number nine, Buddy Daddies. Honestly, I actually did watch this in both sub and dub. Miri Yotze, a four-year-old that uh, that arrived on Christmas Eve to search for her father, but after a man with a cake. Arrived to assassinate her father. She he actually found out that it's her father. Her mother is a singer that actually sing, and they actually have so many adventures. Until until uh, Kazuki found out that the guy that was actually the assassin that. Hear the screams is the one that actually killed Kazuki's uh, wife and an unborn child. This devastated Kazuki. Ray and Kazuki are father figures to Miri, and Miri is. Uh, Lucky to have, <laughs> and uh, their mother actually uh, abandoned her, but she actually tried to make uh, her into try to become a good mother at the end and love her. At the end, race 
shot his arm to become to actually stop the assassin and they actually open a bakery. Twelve years went by and Mary is sixteen and becomes actually a teenager. Now uh, they actually open a bakery and Mary actually loved the cooking that they actually did. Honestly, this is actually a perfect ending and by that is all we have this episode and a a recap episode this is actually a good one watch deal go watch it and see it it's an emotional roller coaster from start to finish number eight farming life in the world hikaru is have a terminal illness in his previous life pass away the god, uh, god, take pity and reincarnate him, but into his new body. Hikaru is reincarnated, but in the dangerous part of a dangerous woods. But he meet new friends. He save a uh, infernal wolf. He meet and plant new flowers. Honestly, he also have spiders. He have new spiders, new new people actually helping him out, and new friends. After this, he actually feel at home until he actually figure out that after when he got married, he also figure out that. His wife uh, that he married is going to be pregnant and going to give birth to his first son. His actual first son in this new world is going to be half vampire. And this is actually... And... And I actually love this. Can we get a season 2 creator of Farming Life in Our World, the director? Come on, I am uh, excited for this. This is an amazing anime, and I actually love to do this. Number seven, Oshinoko. I don't, this famous baby doctor, me his idol, his uh, famous, the famous idol, I. His a uh, his fan idol. After it, he became a fan after his patient sadly died. He actually uh, I come into his patient room, but she actually didn't. He didn't know that I is pregnant, and I is expected twins. But Oshinoko uh, tackles uh, tackles uh, stars uh, not having a life. Everybody knows this, and I actually knows this because everybody knows that uh, the controversy of this because Attack on Titan star. The Japanese version had to is uh, be harassed for having a family, and Nezuko uh, actress have a boyfriend and be unfollowed. But honestly, I is the light of the world, and after before he actually delivered them. He tragically died, but he was reincarnated as Aqua, Aqua Marine, also known as Aqua. But Sepe is wrong. 
his old patient until he got reincarnated as well as Ruby. Honestly, I am not joking. Ruby, they both got reincarnated as uh, their favorite idol's babies. And uh, they actually take inspiration of being an idol and an actor. But, but tragedy struck. A stalker, upper eyes, uh, eyes uh, freaking, eyes freaking deaf, kind of struck. I become a freaking tragic. The end after I saw his death, Aqua vowed to find the killer and make sure he pays. And this is actually good. Idol and uh, the end of the song is actually good. Number six, Hell's Paradise. Honestly, Gabimaru the Hollow is uh, sentenced to death because uh, he actually can die in order his executioner actually what is actually asking if you want uh, your life, bring. Come with me and let's find the elixir of life. But they actually uh, got more than they bargained for. The elixir of life is, is a, a terrible sight. And uh, God B. Maru actually have the ability to fire and manipulate. I actually love this series, and I can't wait until season two. I am hooked on this fucking series. Number five. Kids from the Yaba or Demon Slayer, the Swordsmith Village arc. This latest arc is freaking... Bleh. Sorry. Amazing. Honestly, on this arc... Uh, And from start to finish, honestly, the long, the longest open and the longest endings, and ended, but it's completely worth it because, frankly, it w took a lot of pacing because, honestly, honestly, uh, the Swordsmith Village arc actually have Man with the Mission uh, by Miot. With me, uh, actually playing the uh, end of the open song. And honestly, I actually like it. And we actually see the Miss Hashira and the, the freaking uh, Love Hashira's move. And we actually see the, 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 the uh, Blood Demon are of those two bastards. The base uh, demon and the freaking... The freaking uh, demon that actually can multiply after you cut his neck once. But it actually got a good ending. After this, Nesuko conquered the sun. Number six. Zom Bucket... Zom 100 bucket list of the dead. Akira actually is graduated and got a job at a, his dream job. But it turned out to be the fucking worst. He is running dragon. His dream girl turned out to be his boss concubine. And bye. He's the only one alive. And he actually had to uh, go to the end. And he actually meets new friends that are still alive. Along with his best friend, his old friend that is 
freaking, a freaking, I will actually say, he's a good guy, but he actually uh, goes buck naked. Number five, uh, I'm, this is not the last, uh, last sequel. Masakun, Masakun's Revenge R. Honestly, to tell you the truth, after the first season, I, we want more of this franchise. Honestly, this is actually a good series. This Masamui Kun was going to get revenge on Aki, but it turned out that uh, that Aki never called him Pickfoot. It was the maid, and he actually generally fall in love with Aki. And chem chemically instead of chemically and become such a uh, romantic uh, person uh, in his life he actually love love her and uh, want uh, to do everything to him but it was perfect with with a uh, she actually, I love it, it's perfect, and with a kiss, and I love it. Number four, Liar Liar, Hoto Shahira is a transfer student to Island Academy, where games are determined rank more, one uh, more stars a student to uh, be the highest rank. But, Hito Shahira has no powers. So, uh, with his maid's help, uh, he actually can unlock abilities uh, with actually and make himself uh, the name of the anime he actually call himself. Liar Liar. And I say, this is actually a good anime and I actually love this. And if anybody say it's a bad anime, tell them uh, the anime scream say it's not a bad anime. Don't you dare say it. Honestly, Spine Time Family Season 2. Honestly, I say it's a well paced uh, Season 2, then uh, Season 1 and Season 1 Part 2. Honestly, the Folgers are back up with a uh, uh, vengeance. Honestly, uh, now the Santa Maria Cruz arc. Honestly, I love this arc. When your take on those uh, people and uh, become, she actually is. A, uh, she actually, we see her in action. And we actually never see her in action in uh, season one or season two. We actually see glimpses, not the, the full action scenes. This is actually a full action scene with her really uh, in action, not uh, as a pr playful action. Or a freaking gimmick action. Number two, uh, the apothecary dies. Mau Mau is a apothecary's daughter that gets sold into slavery, and uh, now she actually becomes she actually a uh, knowledge of medicine. She avoids uh, wanted attention, but she is the only one that can read because. Now, she actually, now she actually had to help uh, everybody uh, survive uh, from uh, poisons because now she is the royal poison tester. And in the series, she actually get not, 
items uh, from from uh, everybody. And this is actually a good anime, and I actually love it because now, now uh, Mau Mau is actually a, a force to be reckoned with, and she is a force to be reckoned with because, uh, honestly, she loves poison. She loves medicine, but... Uh, the only thing she can handle is buckwheat because she is allergic. Number one, friend of the dirty ed. Honestly, uh, when I actually talk about Oshinoko, uh, the open Yoshi idol is always brought up, but. I never put Oshinoko number one because, frankly, uh, frankly, because I, because I actually never want, I actually, Dave, Oshinoko does have a drama, but it does have a one flaw that the uh, free end of the journey end doesn't. After defeating the Demon King, uh, Himmel, Heater, Eisen, and Free End, they actually, they actually uh, celebrate the party and they actually have bonds. But Free End, all her party members age. But Free End is an elf. A uh, elfin mage. You know elves. Everybody knows what are elves. Elves age differently than humans. So uh, Freyan actually is look is much older than everybody. When she returns, Himmel is an old man. Heater and Eisen too. But Freyan actually had to go on her journey. Then she returned to Heater again. Heater is an old man. But she actually... He actually is training a young priest. A young priest uh, named Fern. At this time... Uh, for Heater is on his dying breath. He said, Would you do me a favor and take Fern under your wee wing? Freyan also took it under Eisen pupil and Freyan and Heater's other pupil. Um, also, n not Himmel's other pupil. Honestly, he act she actually formed another party to actually uh, actually to do another journey, and she is a amazing character, and sh it's actually a concept of life because Freyan Freyan uh, does die, but she never age. Because elves, people, elves uh, do not age. If elves age, they, elves uh, do not age. A elves, uh, and that's it guys, that it. I hope that you actually like my uh, top 10 list. I actually, I actually made the list on Google Docs and, and, uh, learn everything about it. The freaking, and, I am the anime scream, 17 is out, 98 is out, I am all out.
of the screams. Can you please give me a scream and holler? Have a good day. Bye.